In this lecture, let's understand what is optional chaining and how it can be useful to us. The optional chaining is basically a feature that allows for safe access to nested properties and calls on potentially null or undefined objects. It provides a concise and readable way to navigate object structure without the need for explicit null and undefined checks. Now I know this statement might be a little bit confusing, so let's try to understand optional chaining with an example. So here I am creating an array called products and in that products array we have a list of products. Now here we are hard coding these products, but just imagine that these product details are coming from a backend server, from a database. Now, in our products array, we have different types of products. For example, we have electronic products like iPhone, we have clothing products like T-shirt, and we also have books. Now, for these products, the properties might differ. For example, each product will have a name, okay, and it will also have a price. But in the details, not all the products will have RAM. So, a clothing product or a book will not have RAM. In the same way, not all the products will have size. A book or an electronic product, it will not have size. In the same way, not all the products will have pages. Only the books will have pages property. Right. Now, what I want is, I want to loop over each of these products and I want to show the details of each of these products to the user. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for of loop. So let's say prod of products. And here I'm going to first write a console.log statement. And there, let's say product name. And then let's display the product name. So for that, let's access the products array. Sorry, prod. So here, this prod. When we are looping over this product array, for each iteration, this prod will contain that product. So for the first iteration, this prod will be assigned with this object. For the second iteration, this prod will be assigned with the second object. And for the third iteration, this prod will be assigned with this third object. So here we want to get the name of the product and we want to display it to the user. Okay. After that, again, I will write a console.log statement. And here I'll simply add a line break so for that I'm going to use this s trick like this okay and again I'm going to use console.log statement and there let's say product price and here let's display the price of the product so for that again on the prod variable which is going to store the product object we can access price with this let's save the changes and you see for the three products, we have the product name, we have the product price, in the same way we have the second product name and its price, we have the third product name and its price. Actually, after this, let's also add a line break. And for the line break, we can use this. Let's save the changes. And now you will see the product name and product price. Product name and product price. Now, with the product price, I also want to show the product color. So, for that, let me copy this console.log statement. Let me paste it here. And here, let's say color. And then, I want to access the color property of the product. So, in the product object, we are going to have a detail property. This details property. And in this details property, we are also going to have the color property now this color property will not be available so for all the products so if we save the changes you will see that for those products for which we have the color property it is displaying that color property value so here we can see black for the first product for the second product also we have the color property and its value but for the third product for the book we don't have a color property in that case it is logging undefined so for those properties which does not exist if we try to access it, it will give us undefined. Now what I will do is, from this books product, let's say we don't have the details property. Okay, we directly have the pages property and the author property. Okay, now here we have this detail, this compiler error from TypeScript because for one of the products, this detail does not exist. 
okay so you can see here we are getting this error prod dot detail is possibly undefined okay now if i save the changes the application will be compiled and you will notice that for the first product for which we have the detail property it is reading its details and it is displaying it here for the second product also where we have the details property it is reading its details and it is displaying here but for the third property where we do not have the details property we have this error and this error is because if you see this error it says cannot read properties of undefined so basically for the third product since we don't have the details property this prod dot details is going to return us undefined and on that undefined we are trying to access a color property and that's why we have this error okay so this is something which we can face in our real world projects and to avoid this error what we need to do is we need to check if prod dot details is not null or undefined then only try to access this color property but instead of doing it like that what we can do is we can use optional chaining so here after this details we know that this prod dot details can be undefined for some of the products so after this details we can use a question mark like this and now if the prod dot details will be null or undefined in that case the rest of the expressions will not be evaluated if this prod dot details is not undefined then only the further expression will be evaluated but if this prod dot details is null or undefined then the further expression will not get evaluated and we will not get this type of error and this is the use of optional chaining the optional chaining checks if the value in the left hand side is not null or undefined then only proceed with the evaluation of further expression but if the value in the left hand side of optional chaining is null or undefined it will stop there itself it will not evaluate any further expression and this is the use of optional chaining so now if we save the changes we do not have any error so you can see for the first product it is displaying the value for the second product also it is displaying the color but for the third product the color is undefined so this expression here it is going to return undefined and that undefined is being displayed here on that undefined this dot color was not evaluated and this is the use of optional chaining so i hope with this example now you understand where you can use optional chaining in your application whenever you want to check if an object is null or undefined before accessing a property on it you can use optional chaining so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day